Hello, welcome back to my Instagram Live. Happy Tuesday. So today, being Tuesday, we're going to do a Tuesday tutorial. So we've got the fab, brilliant makeup founder, Grace Fodor, here with us from Studio 10. And we're going to be talking all about lips and in particular, how to make thinning lips look thinner, fatter, thicker, plumper even, not thinner, but fatter and plumper. Because this is one of the most common questions that I get actually to do with makeup, especially as we age, we lose so much fullness from our lips and there are such easy ways with makeup to have little tricks, little tricks of the trade. So, you know, you don't have to resort to injectables and fillers and all that stuff to actually give the illusion of thicker, fuller, more luscious looking lips. Very nice to see you all. Thanks for all your waves. Hi, thanks for your heart, sending lots back. So before we get on with Grace, I'm just going to add Lainey here from my team. So Lainey will be a moderator here. So if you have any questions to do with Liz our Wellbeing, if you have anything to do with the website or podcasts or Liz Loves discount codes that you might have missed before, then she will be there. So she will be hopping on to answer questions. Nice to see you all. Yeah, keep the questions coming in. Studio 10 Makeup has joined. Hi, Rachel. Nice to see your waves. She's from my team as well. So let me connect here. Let us see who has requested. Do you want to request to join me, my lovely? And then I will accept you. Okay, so. Look, so where is everybody watching me from? I would love to know. I'd love to know where you are, what you're up to. Hi, Grace. Hi. Where are you at the moment? I am in my office. Mm, Just very nice. literally got back from um, the US. I was in LA for a week. Wow, was that work or holiday? Work. It was really good, yeah. really great trip. And it was just gorgeous to actually have a bit of sun. Was, the weather was beautiful. Really, so I flew really. back, jet lagged. <gasps> Were you looking, looking good on it? AM last night. Like, no way. Can I get a say? Literally. Oh my gosh, you are a hero. Oh. What a oh. trooper. And it's absolutely brilliant. Halloween. It's Halloween and the street that I live in is Halloween mad. It's full of kids. So I'm like trying to sort that out, sending my daughter to go get loads of sweets and digging out all the Halloween stuff. And I have a Halloween baby. So it's Maddie, my, my daughter's 21st today. <laughs> Happy 21st. Oh, that's such a milestone. It was Kit's 21st this year. And honestly, you know, we didn't actually celebrate 18th as much as 21st. I think there's yeah. something about that coming of age, 21. You know, they really are like mini adults, aren't they? They're like, I know. When you've got to learn some adulting now. That is, that is the new, that is the new vibe. You can't get away with it. You're no longer a teenager. Exactly. Exactly. She's quite mature in fairness, but oh, I just can't believe she's 21. My little baby. Where does the time anyway. go? Well, I have to say, you look amazing. For Thank somebody you. who has a 21 year old who's just got off a flight from LA at back at <laughs> three in the morning, jet lagged, coping with all of that shenanigans. Makeup. It's really, really oh, good. That's my answer to everything. Makeup Slap is a it secret. On. I just, you know, not just makeup, but I've been loving your new, the daily defense, the hydrofusion. Oh. So I, I've got this one at the moment. I know we're not going to be talking about that, but I just thought it'd be nice to, to give it a little shout out because this was the amazing sort of makeup skincare blend it's literally one thing that's it's all you need yeah. and it is so revitalizing isn't it it's brilliant yeah i mean it's just uh, you know too. the thing with studio 10 i want to streamline everything because it takes too long so yeah. that daily skincare routine you've got to hydrate you've got to moisturize yeah. you know under eye you've got serums you need peptides <laughs> antioxidants yeah. there's so and it's not just the routine it's all the ingredients there's powerhouse ingredients now yeah. that you can get yeah in yeah. skincare i actually love it on my, so, my yeah. hands too uh, you know because our hands age come on let's face it and you know we can do a lot for our faces and we often do do a lot for our faces but the hands are like the giveaway I, I mean i put now so much moisturizer i use serum i use hyaluronic acid on my hands if i'm doing a little face mask i put extra on my hands yeah. i'm really hyper vigilant i wish i'd started earlier you but, know what um, i was i was thinking exactly the same and you know i've got pigmentation age spots and at least you know on your face you can cover it up quite easily can't you 
Yeah. And when I was away, I went like that and I was like, oh my goodness, I've got so much pigmentation on my hands. And it's some damage because you just don't, you don't, you think don't use about enough hands SPF are always out, aren't they? You might remember to put, you know, SPF on your face, but yeah. Um, but actually just so putting true. a little bit of this, once I've done my face and my neck, a yeah. little bit on yeah, my hands. brilliant. Because it's not like a makeup, so it's not, you know, like putting any colour exactly. or tint. Exactly. And you've got all the skincare ingredients and you've got the SPF and everything and kind of job done, really. And it's also got, talking about age spots and pigmentation, I've added like peony extract and black currant seed oil because they're very good for the clarity of the skin and they help with pigmentation. Because nice. that was the other thing, do you remember nice. with Dr. Barbara, I was saying I want active ingredients. And she was like, no, you tend to put those into your night creams because I'm like, but I'm wearing it all day. Where yeah. are my peptides? Where are my, you know, um, antioxidants? And yeah. so it is jam packed and yeah, it's got SPF 30 and I've used that on holiday like as an SPF on my really? face on the beach. That's yeah. Amazing. And it's, it's amazing. literally stood, stood up to hot sun, if that makes sense. I love it. You know, we're all so busy and you know, you don't want to carry hundreds of products with you just to have one that can multitask. It's just a dream. Yeah. And, and it that's smells divine, doesn't it? It does smell good. I'm smelling my hands now. Yeah. Love it's it. Just and that's what I love. I think about studio 10 is that you've formulated it for midlife women and older and it's very edited you know you've taken all the guesswork out of it there's i've got your brow pencil on there there's one shade of pencil there's one mascara you've got one skin tint it, it just yeah. otherwise you go onto a website sometimes and you think well there's so much choice here and i get confused and i think i don't want to risk buying the wrong thing so i end up buying nothing <laughs> yeah or you end up buying too much and having a drawer full because that was one of the things i have a drawer i did have a drawer full of makeup mm skincare products and I just mm. thought I'm spending so much money and I'm yeah. not really understanding what I'm buying or what what I need so, so need and do you know what's exactly the voice. same in the states all the women I met um I did a conference it's the same thing yeah. like the time too many products overwhelming intimidating yeah. and, you, and also the yeah. textures I mean even on a we we'll talk about lips like a lipstick yeah. You know, you go into a department store and, you know, they'll have 14 different textures <laughs> with different Which finishes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, and even yeah. colours. Oh, yeah, we've got 25 shades. Well, I wear nude, nude and more nude. And I've spent hours, like, trying to differentiate between a peachy nude and another peachy nude. And <laughs> yeah, and life's too short, frankly. It's just like too the sure. thing that's going to work and then I can get on with something a little bit more important, you know, knowing exactly. that. Exactly. So my face now, so I've got this base on, I've got a little tiny bit of your plumping blush. I've got like a little bit of a nudie eye, some mascara. That's it. I deliberately left my lips alone because I knew yeah. I'd be talking. Now we've got some new things to talk about, haven't we? Are these, are these beauties new? No, no they're, do you know what? Maybe they they're just are new for me. These three are our essential lip colors. And I don't talk a lot about them because we tend to focus on skin, brows, eyes. And mm. I just thought, you know what? We need to do a lip okay. thing today because as we yeah. age, you know, our lips thin out, we yeah. lose plumpness, we lose collagen, we lose elasticity, we get fine lines. And um, I thought, you know what? That'll be a really quick fix because we all want plump lips don't we we love that look everybody you know and it makes such a difference to your face it's such a youth enhancer yeah and you know i remember you know doing doing my lips and sort of slightly outlining them and, and using a, a, a gloss as well as a color and i did a, a one of my youtube videos and i had all these comments from from people saying oh my gosh i can't believe you've had a load of filler in your lips what are you doing it's like seriously it's makeup yeah i promise you it's makeup my lips are the same and I can make them look plump and full and you know kind of really pouty or not or I can just map them right back a little bit of nudie color yeah and they, they just kind of almost disappear back into my face and I actually quite like that look you know I was looking at Claudia Winkleman the other day on on TV and I mean she's just got that pale lip yeah she down for a fine art she has those really dark eyes and that very dramatic I mean it's quite a look I don't think I could carry that off I think with her dark hair she does yeah. that better yeah. But it, it's quite a statement to do that real pale. Yeah, look. and I kind of sort of feel you do one or the other. If you're going to have statement eyes, 
you know, like I love, and we'll do that probably closer to Christmas, yeah, beautiful, or wearable, smoky right. eye, or, you know, and you really want to enhance the whole eye area and you want that statement eye. You don't want to have a statement lip because it's too much, too it's much. jarring. So the principles are sort of, if you have a strong eye, you have a very nude matte, not matte, but very nude lip. Yeah. If you then go the other way and you want a really strong, bold lip, mm -hmm. you know, like a red matte, then you'd have more natural yeah. eyes, but you wouldn't do, do both. You the thing about that. lips for me yeah. is, even if you want that nude, you still need the shape and definition. Because yeah. if our lips are thin, even if you're putting in a, on a really pale color, you still want to have a natural lip shape, some definition yeah. and a fuller lip. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. it does. Um, yeah. And also, so if you're wearing, like I wear glasses all the time now, like reading glasses all the time. So to create balance, you do want a stronger lip and a stronger lip doesn't necessarily mean color. It just means a nice, full, yeah. plump, natural lip. Yeah, brilliant. We do have a Liz Loves, of course, across your whole website, 20% off, which is super generous. So it's Studio 10. Are you Studio 10.com? We're Studio 10 beautycom Studio 10 beautycom Cool. brilliant so yeah so you can use your list yeah up. and you're if right you it's 20 I mean, it's 20 percent, which i think we're one of your highest you discounts are. but i think it's so important just especially if you're you're new to studio 10 you want to try a product you know it's nice to give that discount and also yeah. we've got our 30 day buy and try so you know you literally can get it home test it for a whole month use it for 30 days every single day like the lip pencil we're going to talk about, you can use it up completely. And if it's at the end of that 30 days, it's not quite right or doesn't fit into your routine, which I hope it would, um, you can send it back. No questions asked, we'll give you a full refund. That is amazing. I mean, what an incredible guarantee that that safety there, which is, and it's testament to your products because you know that you've done the hard work. You know that people love exactly. them. You can see all your reviews. We get really few returns. We really... I'm do sure. but that was the one thing as i built the online business people want to buy directly from the brand they want to buy you know directly yeah. through our website and i didn't you know i was worried about well how do you test it and i thought well that way just eliminates all of the headache and yeah. also you know when you go in store i've done it you put something on your hand that's not testing it or no you, know, you might go not wearing it is it not in real wearing life wearing it yeah. or if a makeup artist have done that as well you know does my makeup i buy loads of stuff it's in artificial light. I walk outside. I'm like, oh my goodness, what's happened? <laughs> Who what's am happened? I? <laughs> or I can't recreate it at home. That's the other thing. Yeah. So well, I've got my, my I've got my little compact mirror here. I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a clean. Right. So, so where, where do we start? I mean, do we start with the pencil then? We start with the pencil um, mm -hmm. because this is about creating shape and definition to the lip, right? And so, it's again so there's the one pencil. It's one isn't there? One pencil Very because it's pencil. lip, it, it's lip coloured and the idea is that it's got a blue and pink coming through. Because if you, most, do you remember Max Spice was the all original wearable nude lip liner? Mm. I, I had so many Max Spices that it's a brilliant shade, but it's quite orangey. Mm. It's like an orangey brown. And I think in those days I was wearing a lot of orangey brown nudes. And when I came to, to do Studio 10, I was like, well, that doesn't, that, you can see the outline. I was like, no, I want an, almost like an artificial lip. So it looks like my lip. Yeah, it looks. So it's got a bit of blue in it. So literally, there's loads of different techniques for this, okay. right? And I'm going to talk through them before. Like, one of the ideas is if you start from the outer corner and you go up, but I find that really difficult to do. Okay. Like do it just feels, so forget all that, just do it as you would do normally. And I haven't done my lips either, so we'll see it together. And we've got very different shaped lips and different yeah, hair, yeah. skin tone, yeah. um, lip okay. color. So I just literally outline my lip, starting at the Cupid's bow. I find it much easier to do that in reality. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing I don't do is I don't bring it all the way into the corner here. Okay. Because as we age, our lips start to turn down. So if you go right into this inner corner, what you're doing is you're creating definition and you're actually highlighting this going down. So I, I, 
I don't do that tiny corner. Okay, so just sort of end about here. Yeah, exactly. And also that helps create fullness. So it's all mm. an illusion. It's all an illusion. Love that. I love the fact that this, this sharpens really, really well. It's soft, but you can get a really sharp point so you can get your cupid's bow defined. Yeah, exactly. So I've just... It I've stays just, on too. It's such a great colour. And actually, whatever you go on to put on, whether it's a balm, a lipstick, a gloss, anything, or quite often during the day, I just line my lips and I leave it. I leave it like that because I just want to look as though naturally I've got a plumper, more shapely lip. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, do more, a little bit more with my eye makeup, mascara, eyeliner, mm -hmm. and then I've got my glasses. So I don't want to be fighting too much. So that is stage one. And even if you do that, and I don't fill in the lip either because I want to look as though okay. I've got a natural, but look how fuller your lips just with that just with that, that uh, definition we haven't even done the other bit um and then the other end this is this is kerry would say this won't she with makeup artists you always want to highlight your cupid's bow that's why they, they always say put a little bit of highlighter there because what that does is it creates it creates a sort of a halo line and if you look at anybody who's got a full lip they've got almost like a milk line mm. so for mm. those of us who don't have it yeah. You can create it with this. So it really is, you know, okay. define, brighten, shape. So with this, you just highlight your cupid's bow, just slightly above the cupid's bra ugh, cupid's bow. Okay. So like, like a little V. Yeah. Or W. Because I oh, just yeah. bring it just over the cupids. Got to keep it quite sharp. Yeah. You don't want to look as though you've had a glass of milk. Well, you don't I want the milk moustache. Just define that. Feeling all pouty already. Like that. And then I, I just, I've done it quite, um, not aggressively, but I've done it just so everybody can sort of see. And then I just very gently tap it in because you want it to look like highlighted skin. Yeah. And Got the it. thing about this pencil, because it's, it is actually lip coloured and it blends into the colour of your lips really well, mm -hmm. you can over draw the lip if you want a little bit more fullness okay so, so you can create that illusion you can go on the outer edge yeah if you need and then to. what i like to do is i just then like to just do my cupid's bow in the lip color just a little bit more because i quite like that that you can see so i did I like a little video before and after on this pencil just literally sitting here it's on our website mm. um, and it's sort of gone out there. It's gone nut, absolutely nuts. I've mm. actually sold probably in the last four weeks a year's worth of these pencils wow. that today, today, we've gone out of stock. Isn't that I was so like, typical? you are kidding me. This is the one <laughs> day when we're going to be talking about lip pencils. So oh, when, when are you getting them back in? Uh, uh, first week in January. Okay. It's been on order for months and months and we've ordered 10,000 units. I'm like, yeah, we've got, we'll have it in stock. And it's just, honestly, we've sold thousands on the back of this little video. Wow. So. Well, good for you. Okay, so put your name down for one of these. Yeah, we should like get a waiting order. list. So if I see, look how it looks. So we haven't put anything else on top. No, that is it. just, so for me, this is an, in the same way that you do your brows, Every day we need to do our brows because it frames the face. Just a little bit using a lip liner to create that shape and definition mm. and that fullness. Mm -hmm. And then we finish. So what sort of what sort of colour do you like to wear? I'm I'm really drawn to this one. Yeah. I'm really but drawn to this. This is our because I just think it's very wearable. Yeah. Well, so what was interesting called, is I spoke to so many women. I analyzed sales after sales after sales after sales. And I realized that the most wearable lip colors are nudes. Got a pinchy, a peachy nude, more of a pinky nude, and then more of a sort of purpley nude. And the, yeah. we've only got three shades. So these are everyday 
naturally, not naturally, but super wearable, flattering, yeah. beautiful colors. You can also put a little bit on your cheek. I love that. And then running through the middle of these, yeah, interestingly, in the yeah, hyaluronic yeah. acid. Little dot in the middle is hyaluronic acid. And that's giving you the plumpness and the smoothness and the glow. Yeah. At the same time, we're getting a bit of tint. Yeah, exactly. So it's really, because our lips dry out. That's the yeah, other thing. Sure. You know, like you say, right with now. our hands, our hands dry out, our lips dry out. So, do you so with this, this, straight on. Yeah. I'm wearing the same colour as you. Nice. But look how flattering it is. I love it. And then you can put a little bit, because it's cheek as well, put a little bit on the cheek. And I quite like that where the colours tie in, they blend and yeah. tie in. Yeah, looks really natural then, doesn't it? Because you're not creating a different shade. It all, it all goes together. Just a little bit, just to highlight cheekbones, just to bring your cheekbones forward a little bit. Yeah. Like rosy glow, it's exactly. like you've been out for a lovely brisk walk and you've come back in, you're all pinched cheeks, yeah. you know, flush face. healthy flush of colour. We're getting lots look, of hearts. And also what's nice is it, it feels creamy on the skin yeah. doesn't feel drying no. it's not powdery and on the lips it feels feels great so let me yeah, you've, got good, good, you've got good pigment but it's soft and my lips so feel three, nourished with that three shades acid. you can wear all three of them but once again i've just taken the headache out of yeah. you know what are the best best shades to wear what are flattering shades to wear your red is um, great I'm really scared of red lipstick. I know. I'm actually, actually going to show the red, just because. So this, this is our. Tra I like to call it trainer red, because if you, I love red, right? But I've always been too scared to wear red, um, and I feel very, very conspicuous when I do wear red. And red generally is a matte, or it's a soft sheen or a, a matte and it's very dense and pigmented so yeah. you have to really have that confidence to wear it mm -hmm. and what i love about red which is why we brought it out studio 10 is so many women midlife women feel invisible and my whole ethos is you know don't be invisible celebrate your age mm -hmm. wear it loudly wear it proudly uh -huh. Be seen, be heard. So there's no better way to be seen than with a red lipstick. It gives you confidence. Maybe that's why I tend not to wear it because it is very, it is a bold statement. Well, it matches my copy. Perfect. It does. I wear red for November. But it's a very you know, wearable red, isn't you know, it? It's a very. I don't feel too scared in this. I kind of feel that I could go out. Sometimes I, if I put a big strong red lip on, I feel that the lipstick is wearing yes. me rather than the other way around. Yeah. And I kind of have to live up to these bright red, kind of like fierce looking lips, which just doesn't, I don't think, reflect my personality. Yeah, exactly and the same for me. But when I, this is really wearable. And actually, when I was developing it, I wore it every day for a week because I wanted to make it part of my routine. And it didn't come mm. naturally because I'm quite a nude girl. So it didn't come naturally. <laughs> but yeah. I have to tell you I walked taller I honestly wore it I owned it and a couple of people were like oh that looks really good on you and I was like oh yeah, yeah. so now I wear it and also for dress you know like dress down days mm. you don't, don't I mean Studio 10's makeup's quite nude anyway but your hair scraped back might have your yeah. jeans on or your joggers yeah. on. You just throw yeah. on a bit of red lipstick just... and it completely, because when we think of red, we think of evening, don't we? Being glammed yeah. up, dressed up, red carpet. It's so amazing to wear mm. every day. And also- I need to be bolder. Look, I need, especially I think with How Christmas gorgeous coming. it looks on you, Liz. It looks stunning. Yeah. Stunning. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to get back used to it. But I do think in the winter time, you know, I'm wearing darker colors. I've got like some really nice black polar necks I'm gonna be jumping into now that it's colder. Yeah. And just being, you know, as you say, having your hair back maybe in a ponytail, just keeping the look quite simple. Look and it's that lovely sort of French chic look, isn't it? Where you've just got a red lip and you're kind of, you're done, that's it. I honest. love, I am, um, 
I've really got into wearing the red now, exactly yeah. as you say, mm -hmm. coming into sort of autumn, winter, and it's like even against the green or, because mm -hmm. the shades, we're wearing greys, we're wearing creams, we're wearing khakis, black, yeah. and it goes round and round and round. And yeah. You just need that pop of colour. Um, mm. So yeah, so that's it, that's lips. Love that's it. That's quick and love it, love easily. It. Really, I love that red on you. I I'm, I'm going to keep it on. It. I'm actually going to keep it on, which is and you know going to be a new what? thing. When we talk about red, you know, there's so many. There's different types of red for different skin tones, mm -hmm. hair colors, even eye colors. So the sort of the blonde, paler skin, you, you're more sort of the pinky reds. You go more olive to me. I'm more the orange reds. You've darker, richer skin tone. It's more about the purple reds. And I'm like, I'm not getting into that. I am going to find the perfect red that any body can wear across any skin tone. And this is it. Love it. Absolutely this. love it. And of course, you can pop a little bit of that red on your cheeks. Yeah. Too, can't you? And then you really get that flushed, mm. that lovely pinch cheek flushed look. Lovely. Love it. Grace, thank you so much. I've learned a lot. I think everyone has really enjoyed that. So don't forget, get your pencil to outline get on the list for the pencil because it's sold out i mean it's has it's got and do you know what the um there was a big piece in the daily mail and it just it just went really yeah but you've because got we all want that filler. it's almost that sort of filler no filler yeah fuller no filler love that but you've got these yeah you got these in stock yeah yeah, yeah great good stuff yeah, Grace sure. Dunning, lovely to see you thank Very you for nice being with us you. will you get some rest now before you go trick-or-treating well, my twenty, my twenty-one-year-old in the pub having a drink, and she's coming yeah. back. So we've got to do presents um, at lunchtime. Yeah, mad, 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 <laughs> mad. Where well, you look great but on it. Isn't a... it true though? It's like it's it's not just me, is it? It's the story of every woman on the planet, multitasking, juggling, mm. doing this, mm. <laughs> jump from this to that, and just carry on, and yeah. Yeah, yeah I did put some of my under eye brightener on today, which I don't <laughs> generally need most days. But today I was like, oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, well, you're oh. a dream. You really Keep are. Keep wearing the red. I'm going to. My challenge to you okay. is to wear it every day for a week. I will. I'm going to match my poppy. I'm going to be poppy red. Poppy red. In fact, Thanks, it's really. called poppy. Is it called poppy? It's called Perfect. Poppy and it's okay, out empowered. Better empower red shade so yeah love it love it sending you big love lots of hearts yeah Enjoy you too your day. happy 21st your gorgeous thank girl. you and i'll speak to you soon bye everybody Take care. Bye. bye oh isn't that amazing so what does everybody think you're going to go for the red are you going to go play safe go kind of pinky what i love about this red is it's quite sheer and it doesn't feel cakey I think because it's got that lovely hyaluronic acid, you know, running through it. I think you've frozen, Grace. Have you disappeared? Hopefully you have. You're frozen on my screen. Anyway, hopefully I'm not frozen for everybody before I go. <laughs> uh, oh, who is this? Kim, Realta Kim says, I love the pencil. I'm on my second one. Excellent. Brilliant. Yeah, no, it's, it, it is really good. And as I say, if you go to their website, studio10beauty.com, one of the things I love is it's very edited. You don't get confused. It's just one lip pencil, just one brow pencil, just one shade of red. You know, that's the lovely pinky one that I was wearing earlier. So brilliant, absolutely great. 20% off everything there with Liz Loves. Right, just a couple of other quick things before I go. One of the things that helps to keep our skin plump and smooth, of course, from the inside is all the good healthy fats particularly fats that contain your omega-3s, your vitamin E, all of those good things. And as you know, I'm a massive fan of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I have actually very little else in my kitchen. I cook maybe with a little bit of coconut oil. I use a lot of butter or lard or you know, animal fats, but I use a lot of olive oil, particularly for dressings or for drizzling on like baked potatoes and veggies. This is called the governor and it seriously is the business. Just look at this beautiful bottle. If you are looking, maybe early Christmas present for guys particularly, who can be quite hard to buy for, you know, bottle of whiskey or whatever it normally is this time of year, actually a bottle of amazingly healthy goodness. And this has been so tested 
for its high phenolic acid content. So that is the really super, super healthy fats. And you can see it's actually like a limited edition. They actually hand write in gold pen there. And it comes in a beautiful presentation box. You've got this little kind of leather tie around it. I absolutely love it. It's a Greek olive oil. It says an early harvest fresh olive juice full of concentrated goodness from Corfu Island, produced by three generations of the Daphnis family from 500 year old Leonolia variety olive trees, very high in polyphenols and yeah, really, really good. And this we do have a Liz Love song. So I just wanted to mention this as a shout out because all very well talking about plumper, smoother, softer skin, but we also have to remember to put the good fats back in our diet. And if you're looking for something maybe as a present, then I think this would be a super gift. So just to give you the details on that, it's the Governor Evu. Evu being shorthand for extra virgin olive oil. If you ever see that written in a recipe, if you ever see it written anywhere, Evu, E-V-O-O, -O, extra virgin olive oil. That's what it stands for. So their website is thegovernorevu.co.uk. I'll make sure that we pop links. You can go and find them always actually on lizardwellbeing.com. It's a whole section called Liz Loves. All the discount codes, all the money offs, you'll find it all there, literally. And there are links you can just click straight through. It's super easy. Anyway, so you do get 10% off, okay, with your Liz Loves. So I just wanted to mention that. And so many of you have been messaging saying how much you loved hearing about the menopausal gut supplement. Fascinating live that I did last week. And that's with the Better Gut. Brilliant. I've been taking this every day since. I'm seriously into it. It's got six beneficial strains of bacteria, some of my favorite like Rhamnosus and Ruteri. It's got both Lactobacillus and Bifidum beneficial bacteria. Really good, clinically shown to help and to help ease lots of symptoms of menopause as well. You can take it alongside your HRT, which of course is what I'm doing as well. But if you need to give your gut a bit of a boost, not only just to sort out digestive issues, you know, we're talking about acid reflux and bloating and all kinds of things, IBS, you know, lots and lots of reasons why you might need to have um, extra support for your microbiome, but also some of the improved sleep qualities, reduced anxiety, just improved mood, all the benefits actually that come from the specific strange bacteria. So Ruteri, for example, which you'll find in here, is one of the beneficial strains linked through the gut brain axis, to help ease anxiety and encourage feelings of love and support. It's that hug hormone, oxytocin, it's released. It's, we release it during orgasm, we release it when we hug, we release it when we get periods of joy and euphoria, it's that oxytocin. And that is supported by L-Ruteri. So it's a little bit of a joy bomb, love Ruteri. And then the other one that I particularly like that's in here is Rhamnosus. Rhamnosus, very much targeted for female pelvic health. So any vaginal issues, UTIs, all that kind of thing, pelvic health, then you need to look for Rhamnosus in your gut supplement. Really like this. And it was a very, very interesting live with the female founder. So you can go back and have a look if you want, if you want to kind of learn more about it. Otherwise, you can head to their website. They are thebettermenopause.com. That's the name of the website. And if you'd like to try The Better Gut, use your Liz Loves code and you get 15% off. I do recommend it. It's a Liz Loves, okay? Genuinely Liz Loves. Right, just to say that we've got some very good podcast guests at the moment. So this is the last of the menopause month. We've had a real focus during uh, October because of course we had World Menopause Day not so long ago. And the current podcast, if you haven't listened to it, do go take a listen. She's an absolute legend. I absolutely love her, Michelle Griffith Robinson. She's an Olympian. She talks about diabetes, even though she's a super fit, amazing. Amazonian woman. She's just brilliant. She was still type 2 diabetic. So she talks a lot about that as well as menopause and maintaining joy and fitness. It's very uplifting. So I do recommend that you go and have a listen. That's the Liz Our Wellbeing Show. If you haven't listened to that before, that's my podcast. And then this week, we've got a slightly different change of tack. We've got a brilliant therapist, Philippa Perry, who's actually married to Grayson Perry, the artist. You may have come across her. And we're talking about navigating conflict. So if you've got any conflict going on, maybe in your relationships, maybe in your work environment, maybe with your family, maybe at home, with your friends, wherever, it's a very, very interesting lesson. She's fascinating. We had a really, really good chat. So that's coming up this Friday. Okay, I'm going to be back with you live on Thursday. 
and we are going to be talking something really interesting. You are going to probably need a pen and paper. Okay, I'm just putting that out there right now because we're going to be doing a deep dive into something that I've been researching for longevity and for my new book, A Better Second Half. We're going to be talking about NAD. NAD. Okay, so if you'd like to tune into that, I'll be back with you live on Thursday. Until then, have a spectacularly good day. I'm going to be feeling super confident in my new red lip look and I'll look forward to seeing you then. Thank you very much for all your hearts. Nice to see you. Have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.